What Honda has accomplished over the past 75 years and the future mobility Honda dreams of today continue to be shaped by the spirit, vision, and enduring influence of our co-founder, Takeo Fujisawa. Mr. Fujisawa met Soshiro Honda in 1949, about a year after the founding of Honda Motor Company, then just a small motorcycle venture in Japan. One of the last remaining Honda executives who worked with our co-founders is Hirobumi Nakamura. He led sales for American Honda in the 1960s, and he shared some perspective on the relationship of Mr. Honda and Mr. Fujisawa. They were two geniuses, a genius in the field of technology and a genius in company management, who had a relationship of trust that was like a married couple. They respected each other and never had a fight. There were hundreds of motorcycle brands in Japan at the time. But within just a few years, Honda quickly became the number one motorcycle maker in Japan. Mr. Fujisawa expressed a philosophy that continues to guide and influence our company today. He said, if you walk with the light provided by others, you may be sure of never losing your way but you will never be a leader. The decision to sell products in America and then take the pioneering steps to design and build them here are example of how associates at Honda continue to carry our own torch. It was 1959 and as Honda looked to expand globally, one member of the team called America, the land of the automobile, and recommended that Honda starts motorcycle sales in Asia Mr. Fujisawa had another idea. He said, to take the challenge of the American market may be the most difficult thing to do, but to succeed in the US is to succeed worldwide. And American Honda became our first subsidiary outside of Japan. At the time, the entire motorcycle industry sold only 50,000 bikes in the US, but within two years, we were selling five times that amount making Honda the number one motorcycle brand in America. While pleased with the success, Mr. Fujisawa maintained a watchful eye when a sales crisis occurred in the mid-1960s. This sales issue was reported to Mr. Fujisawa, who was on vacation in Germany for the annual Wagner Festival. He came immediately to Los Angeles and came straight to our office. He gathered our sales associates and asked why sales had slowed. He said, I looked down on the city from the window and America hasn't changed. The city is full of energy. You can see young people playing many kinds of electric guitars and enjoying rock music like crazy. Electric guitars are accepted. I think we need to increase the appeal of our products. Mr. Fujisawa directed us to create three conversion packages for Super Cub. This helped clear the inventory. Then he asked us to think about whether our products were truly being accepted by young Americans and suggested we need attractive motorcycles to make young people want to buy one. Based on his direction, market research began, which led to the creation of various new models, such as the Honda 750. Mr. Fujisawa was an amazing person. He took action in a short period of time, and we were happy that his strategy worked. Mr. Fujisawa's visionary leadership led to another far-reaching decision. He believed Honda engineers should have the freedom to dream and create original technologies without being limited by the ups and downs of daily business. In 1960, Honda took the unique step to make R&D a separate company. This led to a legacy of technological and product innovation, and it enabled Honda to develop new business like entering the automobile and aviation industry and going racing. Our founders retired together in 1973, but the corporate culture Mr. Fujisawa helped foster will continue as our driving force. And based on their commitment to act as good corporate citizen, no matter the times, Honda will continue to pursue the power of dreams and use technology to help move people and society forward.
The growth and success of Honda's business today can be traced all the way back to those people who grew up following Mr. Fujisawa and his thoughts and passion that have been passed down from generation to generation at Honda. After soichiro san was inducted into the Automotive Hall of Fame, he visited Mr. Fujisawa's grave in Japan. And he reported to Mr. Fujisawa that this induction into the Hall of Fame was for both of them. Such thoughts make me very happy. So I think Mr. Fujisawa's induction into the Hall of Fame is finally a dream come true for Soichiro-san. I am sure they are sharing the joy and having a good conversation.